from homes and things and in today's video we're going to be touring the single wire right here it's kind of hard to see you guys so if i have a picture of one from the outside i'll definitely post it but we're going to go on inside and take a look okay we're going to see what this house has to offer because it is absolutely beautiful again this is a single wide okay, again this is a single wide the name of this home is the Choi elite it is a three bedroom two bath absolutely beautiful single wide home when you enter the home to the left, you have your living room. Um, a nice space for a living room. I love the fact that they have uh, a decor wall that is a different color. That's probably the wall that I would put my TV. But this home is so pretty and it's so spacious and it's so much light coming in it that I just had to pause for the cars and let you see just how much light is coming into this home absolutely beautiful and bright um and it would be such a nice area for any decor so absolutely beautiful uh it's wide open to the kitchen and the dining room area you do have space over to the left where you can put a moderate dining room table in this case there is a table that seats four you also could put it right in front of the island it just really depends on how you want to set the space up but i think there's enough space in here to do whatever you like or mix it up because you have all that open space right there between this area and the kitchen so absolutely beautiful love it love it love it love it again so bright so much light coming in makes a great and welcoming space so absolutely perfect so we'll give you another view of the living room and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the kitchen so the kitchen uh has a beautiful chandelier over the counter space that counter depending on the size of your bar stools could sit three to four bar stools which is really really nice you have upper and lower cabinets not a lot of cabinets but you have enough space in here to create additional storage especially the area behind the door uh, between the door and the window so really lovely and you have that lip on the side where you can bring your bar stool area around if you choose so if you put three on the longer end and then one on either side you have a lot of space even though your sink is in that area you'll have a lot of space so really lovely really really lovely absolutely love it they did try to give you additional storage with the three cabinets on the on the right side of the kitchen so that is a plus and then you have cabinet space under the island which is also a plus in addition to having your dishwasher there so you have lots of room as someone that would be looking for a single wide uh someone that doesn't require a lot of uh space and a lot of storage this would be absolutely perfect i could see my husband and i sharing this space so this is a nice size single wide absolutely love it it's beautiful and bright in here and um it's lots of room to do whatever you need to do so absolutely wonderful i always try to imagine myself in the space and what i would do with it and i definitely could see um how i would decorate um i always look at that like i always talk to you guys about what i would do in the space and that's because when i'm viewing the home i don't look at oh it's a single wide it's too small or whatever i look at what could i do with this space to make this space my home and that way i can better share with you what it would look like if it had furniture 
um, if someone was actually living in this home. And I realized that there are a lot of people looking for a double wide, but there are a lot of people looking for single wise as well that maybe want to downsize or um, simplify their lives. And this home would be absolutely perfect. That's what my husband and I did when we moved into this house. And we say all the time, we should have got a tiny house or a single wide. But anyway, your back door is down this hallway to the left. And then you have your laundry on the other side of the back door on the other side of this wall. They made another um, uh, colored wall here, which is a plus. Your wash and dryer goes there and then you have space above the wash and dryer for storage, for uh, laundry detergent and bleach and fabric softener, whatever you wanna put up there, extra bags, uh, trash bags, uh, extra cleaning supplies, just whatever you want to store you have room to do that so wonderful now on this side of the house you also have two additional bedrooms so here is the, your additional bedroom number one nice size bedroom absolutely love it you have carpet in this space you can get these homes that have carpet without carpet you can get vinyl throughout so don't let that be a deal breaker for you because you can order these homes with vinyl throughout the entire house. You don't have to get um, the carpet. But I personally love carpet in the bedrooms. I don't want to wake up to a cold floor. And even if there may be a throw rug on my side, when I walk into the bathroom, I'm going to be on a cold floor. So I do like no carpet in the bathroom, but I don't like to wake up to a cold floor. So you have a standard closet in here. And again, Absolutely nice space. Love the size of this bedroom. Good job on the size of this bedroom. Typically in a single wide or any home, you know, one additional bedroom might be larger than the other. So the other bedroom would be the smallest one. If all I needed was to put one body in the bedroom, this would be theirs. And then the smaller bedroom would always be like my office or storage area or multi-purpose room or even guest room. So... Here's the additional bathroom. I didn't have a light this day, so I do apologize. But the light on my phone helped it to be well lit. And this is a nice size additional bathroom. Lots of space in here for whatever your needs are. And it would make a cute um, additional uh, or guest bathroom. Here is your second additional bedroom. This one does not have carpet. Again, this is the smaller of the two. It still would be a decent bedroom, um, but I could also see this as a nice office space. So really nice. And I personally would put um, a rug in here that covered most of the area because I like carpet in the bedroom. I know people in the comment section gonna say, no, no carpet in the bedroom, but I like carpet in the bedroom. So really nice. You got a standard closet in here. You got all you need in this bedroom. So really, really nice. You can put a twin size bed in here and still have room for a dresser or a desk or whatever you decide. You can put a corner desk, a dresser in the corner and a, a, a desk on another wall. So really lovely really lovely all right so we've seen the additional bedrooms and everything on this side of the house we're gonna go to the other side of the house and take a look at the primary So here you have your primary bedroom, another beautiful bedroom, another nice size bedroom, two nice big windows, lots of natural light coming in. Like I can't complain about anything in this bedroom. Absolutely love the size of this bedroom. You could 
uh, create a sitting area in here, have a chase lounge or lounger on one side. You have room for a king or a queen in here. Love the size of this bedroom. Really lovely. Really lovely. Now, I don't see a uh, closet space. So your closet, your primary closet will be in the bathroom. But that seems to be the thing these days. And I, I could deal with it depending on how it was made. So after we uh, take another view around the bedroom, we'll take a look at the primary bathroom. Of course, you have double sinks in this room. Um, a nice big mirror over those double sinks. Again, please forgive the fact that I didn't have lighting uh, on this trip. So some areas are a little dark, but my camera did a really good job of brightening up the space. So around the corner from the double sinks, you have your closet area. You have three cabinet spaces there for storage as well as a really nice walk-in closet in this bathroom. There isn't a door for this closet, but you can absolutely make it work. Um, but yeah, that's your closet area. And then behind the door, you have a huge walk-in shower and then your toilet area uh, on the side. So really nice, really nice. This is the primary bedroom, you guys. Again, this home is the Troy Elite. It's out at Wayne Fryer Homes in Albany, Georgia. They don't post prices, so I don't have a price for you, but I do have the information in the description box for you to contact the salespeople. And hey, if you wanna go check out this home or any home at Wayne Fire Homes in Albany, Georgia, if you mentioned that you saw them on Homes and Things by Christy, your furniture package is, is free, okay? So make sure you tell them that Christy sent you Thanks so much for watching this tour and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.